In the last episode, we built the Church of Hardcore Minecraft, so naturally, today we'll be using an Uno reverse card on a ghast. Let's get started. I load in the game with two hearts and no food, so I start the journey by crafting some bread and healing up. Since I need to go to the nether, I will need to find some diamonds for a pick, so I head towards my strip mine, where diamonds are now about as rare as a non bullshit roughing the passer call. I'm not sure why Mojang decided to make them so rare, but I'm gonna blame the government anyway, just to be safe. I head back to the cave that I died in a couple of times in the last video, and am immediately met with a couple of armless bombs that I managed to narrowly escape. However, as I continue traversing the cave, I am somehow cornered by another armless bomb, a couple skeletons, and a zombie. Unfortunately, I am unable to escape and go out like an egg in a microwave. I feel like the armless community really has it out for me, so in an effort to squash the beef, I've decided to give $10,000 to any armless man, woman, or transvestite that can beat me in a game of ping pong. Anyway, after grabbing my stuff, I reorganize my inventory and hear a hissing sound. I close my inventory and proceed to explode. I come back to grab my items, and I have to say, I'm getting a sense of deja vu right now. I wonder why. Anyway, I guess I haven't learned my lesson yet, because I continue attempting to take over the cave despite the extremely hostile response from the native mobs. I feel really British right now, not because I'm invading land that isn't mine, but because I'm gay, so this comment was actually pretty irrelevant to the situation. I finally decide to start strip mining for diamonds, so enjoy this epic montage that took a really long time to make. Sorry to interrupt the montage, but I need to make some charcoal for torches. Don't worry though, here's another one. Before I get back to strip mining, I check my coordinates and realize that the reason I haven't been finding any diamonds is because I've been mining at the wrong Y level. You're supposed to strip mine at Y-56, and I've been doing it at Y-35 throughout not just this video, but the last few Minecraft videos I've made as well. This is surely one of the moments of all time. Now that I've finally reached the right Y level, I can finally reveal the rest of the strip mining montage that took me a really long time to make. Okay, I'm just gonna talk over the rest of this, because although I just condensed an hour of mining into 20 seconds, you people only have about a 10 second attention span and are probably already losing your minds. Anyway, I finally find some diamonds, but upon mining them I realize that there are only two, which is about as unfortunate as Elon Musk spending 44 billion dollars on Twitter when he could've just bought it for free. Luckily, I have two more in one of my chests, so I'm able to craft a diamond pick. In real life, I would have spent them on a hoe, so props to me for at least making good decisions in-game. Before I head to the nether, I need to at least have some iron armor, so I head back down to a different level of the strip mine and mine enough iron for a set of armor, tools, and an army of iron-deficient midgets. After throwing all the iron in my furnaces to smelt, I go back into the mine one more time to gather obsidian for the portal. I find a few more diamonds, which makes sense because I wasn't looking for them, and pour my bucket of water over a pool of lava. I begin to mine the obsidian, but because I'm using an unenchanted diamond pick, gathering 14 pieces of obsidian takes about as long as social justice warriors hesitate when asked whether they prefer Starbucks or Black History Month. Once I have all the blocks for the portal, I head back up to the surface where I attempt to once again make peace with the creeper. It starts walking towards me, but he has that Kyle Rittenhouse look in his eye, so I know there will be no negotiations and manage to escape with only minor damage. Also, I apparently had a few extra pieces of obsidian in my chest, so I decide to make an enchantment table, which actually ends up adding an exciting new dynamic to the inside of my house. Unfortunately, I only have a single piece of lapis, so much like 90% of the furniture in a divorced dad's living room, the enchantment table will be used a total of one time, then will gather dust for the rest of its life. It's finally time to build the portal, and what better place to build a portal to hell than on top of your house? Probably a lot of places, but in the words of Travis Scott after the Astroworld incident, I don't really care. After finishing the portal, I take a second to look at the absolute masterpiece I've created and then light it up. Upon entering the portal, I spawn in a pretty safe looking area. The game gives me the we need to go deeper achievement, but for some reason does not capitalize the word too, which really bothers me for some reason. Anyway, I need to be in a more open area for a ghast to spawn, so I spend the next few minutes trying to find a way out of the cave. I see an open area at the bottom of a ledge, so I use the classic jump off a cliff in a boat maneuver to get down there. I then start searching for a ghast when I spot a few piglins in the distance, and realize that I need to craft a gold helmet so they don't kill me. A gold helmet in the nether is like a smoothie blender. You spend a lot of money just for it to break after about 10 uses. 
Anyway, after a few more minutes of searching, I finally hear the shriek of a non-binary woman when she's referred to as a she, and know that I've found my ghast. A long battle ensues, in which it shoots one fireball that I deflect back to kill it. This is a pretty anticlimactic ending to the video, but whatever.